you say this trunk helped you? Well, I'm starting to get the picture on human evolution. <laughs> this book was published in 1925 by Sir Arthur Keith. And now he was the president of the Royal Anthropological Society of Great Britain. And the skull? It was found in 1912. Now it called Piltdown Man the find of the 20th century. I think it was the New York Times said that it proves the theory of evolution. There were like 500 articles published when they first found this. Then in 1953, they discovered that the skull was a fake. Are you serious? Oh yeah. They took chemicals and they aged the skull. They made it look like it was really, really old. And then the jaw is actually from an orangutan. And the guy who discovered it, he actually filed the teeth down and made it look real. What the heck were scientists thinking? Have you ever heard of Nebraska Man? Nebraska Man was the first American ape man fossil to be discovered. And Harold Cook found just a tooth. <laughs> Bet that made for us some news on museum display. Yeah, well, it was big enough for the New York Times, okay? And then it went viral for back then, and the London News did a whole drawing on it from a single tooth. There's still a picture of him on Wikipedia. They drew all that based on a tooth? Yeah, but 10 years later, they discovered out that that tooth was actually from an extinct pig. No way. Yeah, so... Piltdown Man was the popular proof for evolution for 40 years, and Nebraska Man was the popular proof for 10. Makes you wonder about what they're teaching us today.